Hi friends! If you watched our last episode, you will know that I have been struggling with some stomach issues. And I'm so, so very sorry for keeping everyone waiting. I know we only put out one video last week instead of two, and it was just the one saying that I'm sick with no updates on how I'm doing. And thank you so much for your concern. Everyone's comments, wondering how I'm doing, uh, just made me feel so good. And I'm so sorry to keep everyone hanging, but I am doing much, much, much better. I am on the mend. After taking the medication that the doctor prescribed to get rid of the parasite, um, I was still having stomach issues afterwards. And we got a little scared thinking, well, maybe I am having a Crohn's flare up. So we went back to the doctor and to get blood work and more testing done to make sure all of that was in the clear and all the testing came back good. Um, no inflammation, nothing else problematic anywhere. Everything came back good, which was great news. And then the doctor suggested that maybe after getting the parasite and getting rid of it, that I'm now having some sensitivities to certain foods. So he suggested that I go on a two-week diet, maybe longer, of no gluten, no coffee, and no dairy. Which has been, it's not going to be easy. Um, I have quit coffee actually before he suggested it, thinking maybe that's been irritating me. Never has before, but maybe it is now because I know coffee is acidic and it can cause some issues. So I started drinking chai tea in the mornings instead of coffee. And it hasn't been that hard to quit it. I'm also not a huge dairy eater. I don't drink milk. I've always drank coconut or almond milk um, with everything. What I put in my coffee has always been a dairy-free creamer and things like that. Um, I do like cheese, so I know that is going to be hard to cut out because cheese is delicious. But that's what the doctor ordered. He said, no gluten, no dairy no coffee. So I'm going to do that for two weeks. And today we are going to go stock up in Walmart on gluten-free and dairy-free foods. And it actually, in La Paz, it's not so hard to find those things. So we are going to stock up. We're going to stay in La Paz until my stomach issues are all cleared up, just in case I do need to see a doctor again. Once we know that my stomach is good, we're going to start to head north. So today we're going to take you into Walmart. We're going to go shopping for gluten-free and dairy-free foods. And we're going to show you how easy it is to shop healthy when in Mexico. You can still find good, healthy, gluten-free, dairy-free alternatives uh, in Mexico. It's not that hard to find. There is less than what you would find in the States but you can still get it. So if any of y'all have stomach issues like I do and you are wanting to travel to Mexico, then you will know that you can keep up on a healthy diet while you're down here.
We're back home. It is a beautiful, hot, and sunny day. And I think we're just gonna hang out here and enjoy the sunshine for the rest of the day. But I am gonna make some gluten-free granola with the oatmeal and the pecans and the coconut that I bought today. And I'll probably show you how to make that. Um, it'll be my first time, but it's a pretty simple recipe. I am a snacker. I love this snack. And it's been really hard finding a gluten-free alternative for me to snack on. So I'm going to make my own gluten-free granola. I'm going to make it a nice clumpy granola. To do that, I'm going to add ground flax seeds and coconut oil. That is going to help make it clumpy um, without having to use eggs or egg whites, which is a lot harder to use. So the ground flax seed and the coconut oil will help with that. Going to start with two cups of old fashioned oats. Two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One cup of raw coconut, unsweetened. Next, you can add the toppings of your choice. I'm going to add some nuts. I'm going to add some almonds and some pecans. And I'm going to add about a quarter cup of each. So equals to about half a cup. Next, I'm going to add pure maple syrup and pure raw honey. And I'm going to add a total of half a cup. So a quarter cup of each. Next, a half a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, or in my case, I have vanilla butternut extract, but you can use vanilla, half a tablespoon. And now we're gonna add the coconut oil. We want it slightly melted or completely melted, mine slightly, and we're gonna add half a cup. And last, about a quarter teaspoon of uh, kosher salt or sea salt. Mix it up really well. Now that the granola, all the wet and dry ingredients have been mixed up, we are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees and we're going to spread this on a cookie sheet. all spread out and it's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to bake the granola for 20 to 30 minutes and I'm going to check it every 5 to 10 minutes and stir it as needed. Oh yeah. This looks amazing. I think it turned out so good.
delicious.